Have you ever had to estimate the duration or cost of a project activity and wondered, what if things go wrong or what if they go better than expected? How do I factor in that uncertainty? Hi, I'm Andrew from PM Aspirant. If you're new to the channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe for more project management tips. Today, we're going to cover an essential project management tool, three-point estimating. Whether you're estimating costs, durations, or resources, this technique allows you to account for uncertainty by considering multiple scenarios. At its core, three-point estimating provides more realistic estimates by accounting for three possible outcomes. One, optimistic, the best case scenario where everything goes smoothly without any delays or issues. Two, pessimistic, the worst case scenario where significant challenges arise causing delays or increased costs. Three, most likely the scenario that's most probable assuming normal conditions with minor variations. By considering these three possibilities, you develop a more complete picture of what could happen, which helps in managing uncertainty and preparing more accurate estimates. You might be thinking, why bother with three estimates when I can just pick one? While single point estimates are quicker, they don't account for the unpredictability of real world projects. Three point estimating ensures you consider different potential outcomes, reducing the risk of under or overestimating your project's needs. For instance, relying solely on an optimistic estimate could lead to a too tight schedule or budget, while focusing only on the pessimistic side may lead to unnecessary buffers that impact efficiency. Three-point estimating helps you strike a balance. Now, let's talk about how to calculate three-point estimates. There are two commonly used methods, the simple average and the PERT method. Both of these help you arrive at an expected estimate, but they weigh the different scenarios slightly differently. The simple average, also known as the triangular distribution method, gives equal weight to all three estimates, optimistic, most likely, and pessimistic. You simply add them up and divide by three. This method assumes that each outcome, whether optimistic, most likely, or pessimistic, has an equal chance of happening. It's straightforward and works well when you don't want to favor any particular scenario over the others. Now let's dive into the PERT method. PERT stands for Program Evaluation and Review Technique, and it's a bit more refined. In this method, we recognize that the most likely estimate is usually more reliable and therefore should carry more weight. So, instead of giving all three estimates equal weight, the PERT method gives the most likely estimate four times the weight of the other two. In this formula, the most likely estimate has a higher influence on the final result. Because it's assumed that it's the outcome that will happen most frequently, this approach leads to a more balanced estimate that's closer to what is expected in reality. So why use the PERT formula? The PERT method is especially helpful when there's more confidence in the most likely scenario, but you still want to account for risk and uncertainty on either end. You can apply three-point estimating in various aspects of project management, such as cost estimating. Use it when you need to estimate how much a project will cost while accounting for potential fluctuations in price or scope. Schedule estimating is also useful for estimating activity durations where there could be delays or faster than expected progress risk management. Since this technique inherently considers uncertainty, it's great for managing risks by providing a range of potential outcomes. You'll typically use three-point estimating during processes like estimate activity durations, estimate costs, and estimate activity resources. So once you have your three-point estimate, how do you interpret it? The key lies in the range between your optimistic and pessimistic estimates. This range tells you a lot about the level of uncertainty or risk involved in the task or activity. A wide range between the optimistic and pessimistic values indicates high uncertainty. This means you should be cautious as there is a greater chance that things could go wrong or there are unknown factors at play. A narrow range suggests that you have higher confidence in the estimate. The smaller gap between the best and worst case scenarios means there's less variability and less risk. 
This range is critical for project managers because it helps in decision making. For example, if you see a wide range in your estimates, you might want to plan for additional contingency or investigate the risks further. Why is this technique so valuable? Let's cover a few of its main benefits. 1. Improved accuracy. By considering optimistic, pessimistic, and most likely outcomes, you get a more realistic estimate that's better suited for dealing with uncertainty. 2. Risk identification. The range between the optimistic and pessimistic values gives insight into the level of risk. The wider the range, the more uncertain the task is likely to be. 3. Reduce bias. This method forces you to think about both the best and worst case scenarios, reducing the likelihood of overly optimistic or pessimistic estimates. It helps in creating more balanced, unbiased project forecasts. As a project manager, your role in this process is critical. You're responsible for guiding the team in providing realistic estimates for all three scenarios, optimistic, pessimistic, and most likely. You also need to ensure that team members consider all relevant risks, assumptions, and constraints. This prevents the team from creating overly optimistic or unrealistic estimates, which can lead to project delays or budget overrun. Finally, you'll use these estimates to create a more reliable project schedule and budget, helping ensure that your project stays on track. As helpful as it is, three-point estimating isn't perfect. 1. Subjectivity. The estimates for optimistic, pessimistic, and most likely scenarios can be subjective, relying heavily on the experience and judgment of the estimators. This can sometimes lead to inaccuracies. 2. Time-consuming, since it requires the team to create three estimates for every task or activity, three-point estimating can be more time-consuming than simpler estimation methods. For large or complex projects, this added complexity might not always be practical. Let's take a look at an example. Here is the scenario. A project manager is estimating the duration of a task. The optimistic duration is 4 days, the pessimistic duration is 10 days, and the most likely duration is 7 days. What is the expected duration using the PERT formula? Using the PERT method. The estimate is equal to 4, the optimistic duration, plus 4 times 7, the likely duration, plus 10, the pessimistic duration, divided by 6. This becomes 4 plus 28 plus 10 divided by 6. This is equal to 42 divided by 6, and the result is 7 days. In summary, three-point estimating is a powerful tool for project managers to account for uncertainty, improve accuracy, and manage risk in project estimates. Mastering this technique will help you create more reliable project plans. If you find this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to PM Aspirant for more project management insights so you will be updated when we release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.